This is a quick Zephyrus G14 Cyberpunk 2077 performance demo. I have the 4900 HS and 2060 Max Q version. I'm using OBS to record this and the integrated AMD uh, graphics chip to do the processing. Um, and as I'll show later in the video, I think this is cutting into the performance a little bit. The first clip is of medium settings. It's, it's technically playable um, with frame rates in the 40s and 50s and dropping in the 30s, but definitely lower than ideal for sure. This next clip is at high settings uh, with a few things cut off that I don't normally like on, like film grain. The frame rate stays in the low 40s and high 30s for the most part, with a few drops in the high 20s. So, uh, again, playable but not great. This is high settings with DLSS quality um, turned on. So it is an improvement over high. Um, it more consistently stays in the 40s, but still, you know, kind of low. This is medium settings with quality DLSS on um, uh, w while OBS is still recording and performance is not so great but um, you know playable. So this is a test with medium settings um, and DLSS quality with OBS off me recording the screen with the camera. Um, as you can see in the video, like this is uh, actually what I would consider I more ideal frame rate where it's keeping it between 50 and 60. This game is really demanding, one of the harder games to run, uh, I'm sure as you've seen. Um, but from what I found, like ideal settings are medium DLSS at the quality, and it looks good on the laptop screen and uh, runs pretty well. This next clip is of ray tracing performance. Uh, I wasn't expecting really much out of a laptop 2060 and as hard as this game is to run for it to be very good. Um, 
its first uh, session is with medium settings um, and bumping up the DLSS to balanced um, and then having all the ray tracing options enabled on med and using medium settings for the lighting. It's definitely playable um, with these settings. I'm getting about 30 to 40 frames per second um, on average. And you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, with the DLSS balanced, um, it, it still, still, you know, I think looks, looks pretty good. Um, and those frames per second aren't great, but you know, if you want those RTX effects, definitely still playable. This next clip is pretty much the same settings last time, but upping DLSS to performance mode. And there definitely is an uptick in performance here. Um, it's, you know, 25%-ish based on what it was doing. Um, but to me, it looks like a significant loss in image quality. Um, with the performance DLSS, I'm guessing it's sampling a lower resolution base uh, image when it's upscaling so it just doesn't look as good. The textures don't look very good uh, and uh, it's probably not worth it in my opinion so if I wanted to use RTX I'd go with the balanced setting for the LSS.